Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about why Jeffree Star's new launch will be problematic. Let's head into it. Number 1. Who is Jeffree Star? What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel! Hi! How are ya? Jeffrey Lynn Steininger Jr., known professionally as Jeffree Star, is an American entrepreneur, makeup artist, YouTuber, and singer, and the founder and owner of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. In 2009, Star released his first and only studio album, Beauty Killer, which includes songs such as Lollipop Luxury, featuring Nicki Minaj. He embarked on several world tours to promote his music. In 2010, he signed with Convict Music, whose founder Akon described the star, whose founder Akon described Star as the next Lady Gaga. However, Star abruptly left the music industry in 2013. Due to legal issues, Akon was facing between 2007 and 2010. In November 2014, he founded the company Jeffree Star Cosmetics. In 2018, Star earned $18 million from his YouTube endeavors alone, according to Forbes, making him the fifth highest paid YouTube star as of December 2018. His larger than life personality made him a super popular YouTube channel and a wildly successful cosmetics brand. Even if you're not into makeup, there's no way you've missed his many public feuds. From fellow beauty bloggers and former friends to basically the entire Kardashian and Jenner family, Jeffree isn't afraid to speak his mind no matter who is coming for. Number 2. Where are his factories located? Jeffree Star Cosmetics are localized in Los Angeles, California, and as per Shane Dawson's video documentary of the creation of his makeup line, everything is designed, formulated, and made in the USA in Jeffree's giant factories. Number 3. Why are people concerned then? Jeffree Star Cosmetics has had countless complaints at the BBB, or Better Business Bureau, over the state of the makeup seals, leading some to believe that during shipping, the products could become contaminated. Here's the complaint of an angry customer. I ordered from Shane Dawson collection to lip gloss. I received it on July 13. I used the gloss twice after receiving it. I went to use it again in August. The bottle had leaked even though the bottle was closed all the way. The top of the applicator broke off as well. I contacted customer service team. They had me take pictures and then told me pools at the bottom leaving at the blackish material at the bottom. For what it is a lip gloss, a disappointment claims his customer service is the best, his products is a very bougie brand, and that he stands behind this product. When really, it is all hype and fancy advertising with real no core values of what all companies should do value your customers. Quality matters. Another concerning thing is that he has supposedly relabeled Chinese products before. In a scandal from 2017, he has been accused of labeling other Chinese products. Even so, these claims were unfounded. Other makeup artists have had issues with their lipsticks before. Jacqueline Hill, a makeup artist that has been on YouTube since 2011, has had controversies with her lipstick. Fans were super excited when the beauty guru announced her own makeup line, Jacqueline Cosmetics, a brand launched with a line of 20 nude lipsticks, each $18, which are all currently sold out on the website. But when customers started receiving their lipsticks, they noticed something wasn't quite right. People saw hairs, bumps, and balls in the lipstick itself, and some even arrived completely damaged. Some tweets say the following, Why is my Jacqueline Cosmetics decaf lipstick lumpy? Add Jacqueline Hill. This can't be okay, right? Hashtag Jacqueline Cosmetics. Hashtag Jacqueline Hill. Or add Jacqueline Hill. Add Jacqueline Cosmetics. I am a huge supporter. Seriously, I love you. I was so excited to buy your lipsticks. Today, when I went on to put on decaf, when I went to put on decaf, I noticed there was a hard ball inside of it. What is it? Can I get a replacement? And even use my lipsticks for the first time today. And it crumbled. At Jaclyn Hill. At Jaclyn Cosmetics. Hashtag so upset. Fellow beauty YouTuber, Raw Beauty Christie, posted an in-depth review of the line on her channel. And, well, it wasn't exactly glowing. She put the lipsticks under a microscope, and what she saw seemed pretty nasty. Christie found exactly what other customers had been complaining about fibers, bumps, air bubbles, etc. Once Jacqueline saw what her fans were dealing with, she, she tried to explain the situation on Twitter. My team and I are working very hard on finding out exactly what is causing the grittiness and bumpy texture on some of my lipsticks. I am so sorry to see some of you dissatisfied with my product. I will make it right for you and learn from this mistake. That's a promise. If any of you are receiving lipsticks like this, please know that this is not hair. My factory used brand new white gloves to do quality control and they shed all over my product. We switched to rubber gloves two days ago and we'll make sure this never happens again. People are worried that the same might happen with Jeffrey's products, considering that the workers have had a harder time working or respecting the regulation. Plus, he's had other controversies that will make people not want to buy from him. This video is a compilation of Jeffrey Star using racial slurs. One video in particular shows Jeffrey violently yelling at women, walking down the street, calling them. This footage can be traced back to 2004 to, to 2006 and Jeffrey would have been 19 to 21 years old at the time. In an infamous skit Jeffrey did back in 2006, Jeffrey had, a, Jeffrey had a friend made jokes about using battery acid to lighten a black woman's skin tone. You can say black folk cannot wear MAC cosmetics and then you splash acid in her face. Well, maybe if she wasn't wearing the wrong foundation color, I wouldn't have had to splash no battery acid and lighten her skin tone, girl. In 2009, Jeffrey called Tila Tequila a whore. In an interview, he was asked if his lifestyle would be possible without the internet, to which she replied, me and that whore Tila Tequila are the ones that capitalized on it. Her and I used to be friends, but I'm not into people that think they have to be like naked all the time. You don't have to 
posited yourself to be successful. Although Tila Tequila has a history of being problematic herself, one could argue that Jeffrey's comment speaks to his hatred for women, especially those who express their sexuality. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.